They're working to make sure hundreds of Detroit's small businesses have the tools and resources to not only survive, but to also thrive. City workers say small businesses are employing more than half of the people in Detroit right now. Good evening, everybody. I'm Karen Drew. And I'm Damon Fernandez. But when it comes to the longevity, the longevity rather, of some of these small businesses, getting access to resources can be tough. And one group's working to change that through opportunity and new technology. Take a look. Today we've gathered over 300 small business owners. In a place packed with potential, hundreds of Detroit area small business owners are gathering to meet and exchange ideas. Robin Childers is among them. Because this is the place to be today if you're in Detroit and a small business owner. Childers is co-founder and president of Welcome Home Yoga and Wellness. She's intentional about showing up for the Detroit Means Business Annual Summit. I think folks want to know what's happening in Detroit. You know, there's so much growth and revitalization. Organizers say this summit helps small business owners get face-to-face -face access to a variety of resources. Entrepreneurs are also able to network and find mentors. Because really what the research that we have is that basically nine out of ten businesses in the city of Detroit have no idea how many free low cost, no cost resources that there are. Dr. Marlo Rencher is president of Detroit Means Business. She says what the group does know is small businesses employ more than half the people in the city of Detroit. That's why groups like this want to make sure those businesses not only survive, but thrive. But small businesses are the lifeblood of the neighborhoods. It's just important for us to make sure that we're balancing, right? Previously, you would have to use Google, get mixed results. Detroit Means Business is also launching a new technology for small businesses. It's introducing Buck2. That's an app using AI technology to help entrepreneurs easily navigate resources and information for their businesses. And it's launching the Black Bottom Billions. You compete against other business owners based on revenue. Jonathan Farley owns Access Point Towing and Transport. It's his first time attending a summit like this. My biggest hope is to get the information I need to uh, stay in business longer and to, because I've been kind of winging it a little bit in business, so now I come here, I get the information I need to make it uh, more sustainable. And check this out, about $150,000 in grants were awarded to some of those small businesses. Now, any budding or existing entrepreneurs who'd like more information about those resources can contact Detroit Means Business.